Richard, every year we understand you have, what, 400 plus screenwriting applicants. Well, they, they're going up, they're rising, and they have reached uh, uh, into the 400s uh, over the last several years. Yeah, we don't expect it to go down, um, so we're wondering <laughs> how, how we're going to be able to consider all of those applications, but do go on. Well, then we understand you whittle it down to, what is it, 100, and then from there another 50, and then... Right. We, uh, we get down to about 100. Um, whom we will then interview, um, and we will admit about we admit about twenty five to thirty each year. So if you get to the interview, I mean, if that's an incredible thing just to be interviewed. Um, it reflects real uh, upbeat view of your work by the admissions committee, which is to say the faculty, and um, and even then you only have a one in three. Or one in four chance of, of really closer to one in four than one in three chance of getting into the into the program. Um, happily, we created because there are so many writers who are very capable, for whom we just don't have the room. We created some years ago a uh, non-degree program, uh, the professional program in screenwriting the, at UCLA, and it's. Um, modeled after this program at, at same faculty for the most part. I don't. I, I lecture in the program and I am the faculty director of the program, um, but mainly it's modeled on the 434 structure um, with a lot, a lot of different instructors and it's it's configured in such a way as it can to be able to expand to accommodate as many people as are qualified for it because it's not controlled by the region since it's not a degree program we're not giving credit. So we're able, it's a very good way for us to be able to serve these very, very good writers whom we haven't been able to admit simply because uh, we don't have room for them. We have, um, because people ask me, why didn't I get in? Is my stuff any, well, I, you know, my stuff's no good. No, your stuff is great. It's just that we have a, a more writers with great stuff than we have uh, slots in the, in, the, in the program. What are some of the questions that you're asking these applicants and what are you looking for? Well, let me, uh, let me just answer you this way. There are really four criteria that we uh, look at, but, and we don't even, we don't really care very much about three of them. Uh, we don't care too terribly much about grade point average. Lots of writers aren't great students. I never got great grades in college. I did okay, and now I'm a big shot, super tenured, super senior, you know, college professor. Um, and I have had, uh, uh, you know, I, I wish the the worst student in our program should have my career, you know, that would be a good thing for them. I did uh, support a family and, you know, never, have, never had to drive a cab or carry a tray. Well, I, when I was a college student, I was a waiter. Um, and there's nothing scandalous or shameful about driving a cab or carrying a tray, but it is nice to actually make a living as a writer. Um, the, uh, so we're not very interested in grade point average. We're not very interested in um, test scores, uh, GREs, and whatever they got. Um, again, writers aren't really terribly good uh, test takers. Um, and then we're not terribly interested in recommendations and references, believe it or not, because most of them are pretty much pro forma, you know. Smartest woman in my uh, creative writing class. Um, the uh, a lot of them do seem to be sort of. I mean, we got one from a very, very famous uh, person in the uh, business, whom we respect. Uh, his initials are Steven Spielberg. It's funny because our students have written ten projects for Steven: Jurassic Park one, Jurassic Park two, Jurassic Park three, Indiana Jones two, Indiana Jones three, The Terminal, War of the Worlds. Munich, Eagle Eye, Stephen produced Eagle Eye, didn't direct it, and Amazing Stories, which was a whole TV series that he created, he directed some of them, um, and Stephen uh, r recommended a particular writer, but it was uh, in, in one application some years ago, but it seemed pretty pro forma, you know, it looked like he was doing a family favor for a friend. Um, 
You know, he talked about how bright and what fun and sincere and this and that. And had and we did not admit this person. Had he said, had a very prestigious person like Steven Spielberg said, this woman was in, an intern in our office during the Amistad movie, and she sat in on the story conferences and made substantive substantive uh, contributions to the to issues of dialogue and pro suggested the scene with the blah, 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 that did it. Oh, we would have grabbed her in a second. Um, but that's exceptional that we get something really substantive like that from a prestigious person. So, But if it is a substantive comment from a prestigious person, somebody well known to us and respected by us, that's helpful. But that's the exception. Usually it's it's pro forma, and it's, sometimes it's even negative. It's astonishing to me. I refuse to write a negative review for anybody. If I absolutely can't support somebody, and this happens every ninth year, you know, it's only happened a handful of times, somebody asks me for a review and I, I can't provide it, uh, I'll say to them, you think I'm the right guy to do this? You know, I won't. But uh, um, others will, uh, I read reviews. References. I can't imagine why Madeline would ask me to re recommend her. Uh, you know, she uh, showed no um, uh, imagination at all in, in the uh, dramatic writing class that we had here at uh, Tulane or wherever it is. Um, and then it, they damn with faint praise, you know, considering her, uh, Herbert's limited ability the uh, B minus he got in my creative writing class represents substantial uh, uh, you know, effort on his part, and it even gets worse than that. Um, Marvin appears to have uh, uh, successfully challenged his substance abuse issues. He's been sober uh, since two o'clock this afternoon, as near as we're able to uh, figure. I mean, you know, I'm exaggerating, but just a little bit. There's one thing we care. So, so we don't care a lot about grade point average. We don't care about test scores. We don't care a whole lot. Uh, about recommendations, unless they again they have prestige people substantively commenting upon the writer. All we really care about is the writing sample, and uh, and uh, most everybody submits screenplays, but you don't have to. We we we're looking for two things: good language skills. You know, well, what about real solid command of the English language, and then evidence of a fertile uh, imagination. We've admitted people on the basis of. Uh, poetry and um, uh, novels, even ad and catalog copy. Um, it's just as simple as, as that. Everybody has to make a, um, they submit writing samples, they also have to write a personal statement. It's called a statement of purpose. I used to think, my purpose is to get into the stupid program, what do you mean? My, but we've learned over the years that that can be uh, read as a writing sample. People can be very official and um, uh, bureaucratic about it, with henceforths and where to for and stuff like that. Or they can really break your heart uh, with a uh, personal statement about what it is that brought them to uh, to writing. I still remember um, one woman writing that uh, she was the child of a uh, hippie woman who uh, really was very inept as a mother for the first three or four years, but then seemed to get it together and got um, a job, but the job was traveling around um, the country showing a line, like a fashion line for a particular designer, and uh, um, so she spent many a uh, Christmas Eve in motels, you know, in, in little towns scattered all around the uh, uh, the country. However, she still remembers how her mother would decorate if they were going to be together on, on um, Christmas Eve, you know, in Akron, Ohio or somewhere, uh, the mother would go out to the local Five and Dime, the Woolworths, if there was such a thing, and get tinsel in a tiny little tree that would sit on the, you know, the desk in the motel. Um, and they would decorate the room together. They'd put up, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm going to start to cry just describing it to you. It's so touching. And here we are talking about it all these years later. Uh, would we admit somebody like that in a heartbeat? And, you know, she went on to distinguish herself as a really, really good writer. So the writing, the so-called statement of purpose, which the university requires us to seek, 
we can't just make up the application any old way we want. We do have to, you know, fulfill the uh, strictures that are placed upon us by the University of California, properly so. Um, and uh, uh, we learn how to see that as an aspect of the writing sample. But again, long-winded answer to your question, the answer is all we really care about is the writing, and that's all we care about.